Good Sunday, everyone. Kevin here for the Blog Oklahoma podcast. Today's going to be an informative episode. Going to be talking about the upcoming Oklahoma presidential preferential primary on March 1st. Getting it a week ahead of time so I can get as much voter information out to you as I can. The Oklahoma Republican Party are having their primary on March 1st, and as of today, on the February 21st, there are still there are still five Republican candidates still running. Um, Jeb Bush just dropped out after South Carolina, and we'll know if anybody else drops out after Nevada. And remember, even though some of these candidates have suspended their campaign, they're likely still going to be on the ballot. And the Democratic Party of Oklahoma is having their primary also on March 1st. We have our primaries at the same time. We don't split them up like other states. And as right now, there are two active Democratic candidates, and that is Secretary Hillary Clinton and Senator Bernie Sanders. This year's kind of special. The Democratic Party of Oklahoma has invited independent registered Oklahomans to take part in the Democratic primary. That said, remember, independents, the Republican Party did not extend this invitation. You could only vote in the Democratic Party primary. And just like the Republicans, anybody that suspended their campaign is likely still going to be on the ballot. Plus, there's some other names you've never heard of. This promises to be an exciting primary here in Oklahoma. Not sure who's going to win on the Republican side. Donald Trump's taking a strong lead, but who will come in second? And on the Democratic side, it's going to be an equally tight race. Hillary Clinton and Bernie Sanders are both doing great campaigns. I can't wait to see who wins. Oklahoma's part of the Super Tuesday primary, meaning we vote at the same time as practically all of the South. So this is going to be a very exciting March 1st. All right, just finished up the script. I'm about set to record. And I hope things go well, because it's almost six. <laughs> For those of you new here, here's a quick review of my podcasting equipment. This is my Behringer Zenix 802 mixing board. This is my MXL 990 microphone on a mic stand with a pop filter. This is my Behringer U-Control UCA202 USB interface. It connects my mixing board to my laptop. And this is my Dell laptop. It's running Windows 10. And I'm using the program called Audacity. If it would focus. <laughs> Audacity is a free audio editing program. I've been using it for years. I really like it. It's easy to use. And like I said, it's free. This is the Blog Oklahoma Podcast, episode 25 for February 21st, 2016. And I have a good audio level. Woohoo! I'm happy to announce as of February 21st, 2016, Blog Oklahoma has 899 registered Oklahoma bloggers. Your feedback is important, so please feel free to contact me with your comments or questions. You can get hold of me in a multitude of ways. Just visit blogoklahoma.net slash contact. Seen our many whiteboard updates on Instagram or Snapchat? There we share news, fun, or whatever we doodle on there. So please give us a follow at Blog Oklahoma. Oklahoma. Mixing the podcast. I haven't added music yet, and I still need to do some noise reduction. On Tuesday, March 1st, Oklahoma. Well, I just finished the mixing, and I'm hoping to have the encoding and the show notes ready to publish here in a few more minutes. Go to any open voting booth to mark your ballot. Please use the pin provided. Displays the ready to scan screen. Insert the ballot into the ballot feed slot and wait while your ballot is here. Well, the episode is now published. I hope you enjoy it and I hope you find it informative. 
And as a reminder, please get out to vote on March 1st. It's very important. Well, that's going to do it for me this week. I will see you next week with all new episode of the Blog Oklahoma podcast. And as always, thank you for listening.